Hi, I'm Jason, and welcome to this week's Technique of the Week. We're here with Rick Lobdell again. Um, we've already found the center of this uh, rectangle, and so now Rick's going to start showing how to lay out a, a diagonal pattern. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I take what I've already chalked, my three lines that I've already made so I know where my center line is and I use my straight edge. I have to know what the, the center, what I call the center of a, of a diamond is or of a tile, which is the, the long distance between the points. So for example, a two foot tile pattern, the center of a two foot tile is 34 inches. The center of a three foot tile is 51 inches. So I have a lot of these memorized for quick references. So the center of a two foot tile is 34 inches. So I go from the center of the tile and I measure 17 inches both directions and make a quick mark so that I know where they're at. And then I can take my square and go off of the same line and measure 17 inches out too. And then I wanna make sure I check it just in case I'm wrong on my measurements. And if you go from intersection to intersection, I have exactly 24 inches right here. So it worked. And then from there, I'm gonna chalk those two lines and that's all I need to do. I don't need a fourth point. I don't need any other points whatsoever. Quick, simple, and efficient and straight to the point. All right, we've got all the, our, our whole pattern laid out on a diagonal here. You can tell uh, with the four inch bands and uh, the other tiles, it's gonna come out pretty cool. Thanks for watching this week on Technique of the Week. Uh, remember to, to share us on Facebook and, and YouTube. We'd appreciate that. And also um, go to our website, www.techniqueoftheweek.org and go ahead and sign up. You get these free tips every week right in your inbox. Uh, you'll get them as soon as they come out and um, that's a, a great way to learn. Thanks a lot for, for joining us and we'll see you next time.